Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 9th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so today I will I traded uh three three stick three tickers and I was up in the morning uh a total of uh ninety dollars and then I give some away. So the first trade I did was ATAI. So ATAI uh, I took two three trades on here. Um, they were all on the short side. The first one was um, this one minute trade here. Um, I saw it was overextended. It has two doji candles here. Um, and then this one had a red candle. So I was shorting be, um, below that. And it was just a quick scalp. It was like 180 to one, uh, 170s. Um, and that was like for like a $25 winner. Um, and then it was holding this uh, flag here and broke higher. So. So let's see. So the next trade I did was um, for this break after it had this uh, move up. It had this uh, cup and handle. Um, and then I wanted to see it retest the five minute here uh, or the VWAP. Uh, but it didn't have the move I wanted. Uh, so I ended up covering a few and then just stopping out the rest there uh, for like another small winner. It was like a fifteen dollar winner, so these two trade was like I was up like plus four, uh, forty. Um, and then later on the day, um, I saw it uh, trying to break a low of day, so you can see you can see it try to break low of day here um, at one seventy. It it broke uh, three cents below. I started short and I thought it was gonna roll over. Um, for the hourly, I think the hourly um, retest of the EMA, which was around uh, 150. So my goal here was to uh, take take this short with my wrist up here and, and um, target up 150. It was a little bit more than a one to one ratio, but uh, it was pretty slow out there um, today. So I took the risk there and I ended up stopping out when it broke above these highs uh, and breaking above this trend line. And that was like a, a $60 loss. Um, so it took away my uh, winning in the morning from these two trades um, and then uh, took me out for a $44 loss on this ticker. Um, my next trade was a PHAS. So this had a gap up. Uh, a huge overextended gap up and then I saw weakness and I wanted to fill this uh, gap below. So in the morning here it was holding um, this could this could have gone uh, either direction if it flagged here a little longer it could have broken uh, right here at the 1660 area uh, but what it ended up happening is it broke below this and then retested um, this the bottom trend line. So what I saw was um, when it broke this, I went ahead and saw this uh, another inverted cup and handle right here. So you can see this inverted cup and handle here, and then I started short there, um, and then it retested. Um, I ended up uh, kind of panic, uh, taking off half, uh, and then a few minutes later it finally cracked and cracked the lows here and I end up covering there end up covering the low of day there um, and then covering the rest when it broke these highs uh, I end up uh, tra trailing back all the way to towards VWAP and then faded back down and then after hours it had dropped all the way down to 13 but that was a $67 winners on the short side um, Zine. Zine was my last trade. Uh, pretty much this was like a break even trade. Um, but initially what I saw was this uh, 855 level here. So, and it was creating low, uh, lower highs. And then when I saw it creating this last lower high, I started short here for the anticipation of this uh, 855 break with my risk off of the previous uh, red to green. Uh, move um, and then 
it, it had a wick here uh, with like a tiny volume, uh, but it back got bounced, uh, bought right back up. So I end up holding it through this. And if it held held green here and break above these highs, I would have stopped stop out there. Um, but I end up reshorting some there um, and covering there, and then I covered here towards uh, the the end of the day. So this was like a, pretty much a flat trade, uh, plus six dollars. Um, so overall today, three trades, um, twenty eight dollars, uh, pretty much an even trade um, for today. And hopefully, I will learn to um, not to over trade and uh, don't stick around if there's no uh, great setups because I felt like I was maybe uh, over trading um, the setup. Uh, when it was it wasn't like a really a plus setup um, but I end up uh, giving away some profits towards the end but sometimes you have to take some risk to make some some bit of money uh, but yeah as always um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting um, so goodbye